Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make a paneled layout with Artisteer. Now there are certain limitations of this because Artisteer really isn't meant for creating paneled websites. Um, so I guess kind of keep that in mind as you go through it that if you're going to go a paneled approach chances are you might have to have your paneled page use like a different theme than the rest of your site because you're going to have to do a lot of CSS to make it only apply to that paneled page rather than other pages. So getting to it, if uh, we pull up Artisteer, we see that I've got my panel layout here and it doesn't really look that good inside of Artisteer because there are certain CSS properties that Artisteer doesn't render like a browser would. But if I pull it up in my browser, we see that it does indeed look like a panel layout. This is something I quickly threw together. You can kind of ignore the header for this because that's not really the focus. The main thing is I wanted to show you the colored panels throughout the page. And the way that you do it is you basically set your width of the sheet to 100%, and then you're going to do some custom CSS entry, which I'll give you the CSS to put in, and that'll add this padding so that it's always basically 70% content width with 15% padding on each side. So as you shrink it down, you see that the padding on the sides remains the same. So you always have that nice little buffer so that it doesn't reach to the edges. Because I think 15% is a pretty good amount. Even on a phone, 15% is not so much that it's like so much negative space that it looks bad or anything like that. So here's how you do it. Within Artist Deer, you want to go to your uh, Layout tab. And for the sheet width, you want it to be 100%. And you're going to want to set it to one column layout for now. You can change it to two columns later. But for layout purposes, you need it to be one column. And so what I'm getting at here is that your theme itself, like before you export it to WordPress or whatever you use, you can set it back to a two-column layout. But when you're building an artist here and you're previewing it in your browser, there's no way to disable the sidebar on one of your pages in artist here. You can do it in WordPress. Uh, in WordPress, there's just a little checkbox to disable the sidebar. So for your paneled layout page, you'll just uncheck the sidebar. And then the other pages on your site you can check to have the sidebar. Uh, but again, no way to do that in Artist Deer, so just for this section while you're demoing the uh, panel, just set it to one column. If you set it back to two columns later, it'll retain all of the styling you did to your sidebar, so it's not like you're going to have to do that all over again. So we have it at a 100% uh, width, and we have it at um, no sidebar, so one column. And I would suggest downloading my theme that I'm using just to give you an idea of how this works to make sure you configure it the same way because I'm not going to spend all the time going through everything. But basically you want to get rid of padding and margin on stuff. Um, so there's no outline on the sheet, no padding on the sheet, that sort of thing. So it's basically just the sheet. And then we're going to go to the Home tab and go to Options, which is where we can do CSS. We're going to go to the CSS tab. And I'll do a quick zoom in so that you can pause it and look. Let me see if I can... Ex I can't expand the window, unfortunately. So. Let me just copy all this and paste it in a new notepad. Okay, so if you want to pause the video and then copy down all of this CSS for you to use, this is what you'll want to like uh, paste into your CSS styles. So hit pause and copy it. By the way, this will also be available for you to just copy and paste if you visit my website uh, on the blog post where this is. So if you're viewing this on the blog post, it should be a link to a text file or the text you just pasted. And if you're on YouTube, the link to the blog post is just below this video. So let me explain what these different styles do. So this first style basically takes the, uh, the art header and just adds the padding and the width so that the header is consistent with what the body is going to be. And then this one right here, is mostly for my site since I have this right aligned nav. If I didn't do this, it would be like way too far to the right or too far to the left. And so by doing this, I'm just setting the width to be automatic instead of the fixed width that it was before. And then I'm having it be flush to the right side. The art content layout wrapper. The, uh, the reason I did this, I'm trying to remember because I did this yesterday and I'm recording the video today. Um, the reason that I did this is that without having the wrapper with a negative margin, it was either stretching too far or not far enough. 
because we add this padding to the actual post content. So basically what we're doing is that without any of the CSS, your text is going to stretch all the way from the left side all the way to the right side. And then we're adding uh, padding to the inside part to make it have this spacing right here. And then we're adding pad like a negative margin to the thing that contains it to make it stretch to the sides. I don't know if that makes sense. It doesn't really have to make sense. Just copy and paste it into your theme to work. Um, you'll notice in Artist Deer that it doesn't look that great. See how it always has this white space on the right side? That's okay. That's just another one of Artist Deer's not rendering correctly things. But if you go to File, and then Preview in Browser, and choose your browser. So for me, I like to use Chrome. We can look at it and we see that it looks great. Now the way that I did the individual panels is very simple. I know that I typically don't recommend using uh, Artist Deer's like, block layout stuff, but for doing these panel layouts, it's quite nice because it saves you having to do that CSS later. So what you do is uh, just click into the content area of whatever page you want to do. I created one called Paneled just to lay out all these blocks. Um, and then just click somewhere in here and then you click the Content Layout tab and this is on the Edit tab. So you click Content Layout, you can choose the layout of your current column, and then to add a new row, which each of these panels is a row, you'll just click Row, whoops, sorry, you'll click Row, and then Insert Row Before or After and choose whatever layout you want. So each of these is just a row, and then once you've inserted it, you click in it, and go Row, and then Fill, and then choose whatever fill color you want for that panel. And so this is a great way where you can lay out lots of different panel options before you export. And you don't have to even put text in them if you don't want to. The main thing is you want to lay out these panels so that when you export to WordPress, you know what divs to copy, so what div classes will make these different panels. Now, fair warning, I have not fully tested this or implemented into a live site, so if you're going to adapt this to your own, I highly recommend that you test it out first, don't just push it live and then close your eyes. <laughs> Push it live, test it, make sure that it works across browsers, in response of that sort of thing. And uh, if you do have problems, of course, let me know. So I hope this has been helpful. We can see that even though Artist Year wasn't meant for this, we can still make it work with this new paneled flat design sort of trend that's going around. So good luck. Get in touch if you have questions. And be sure to visit artistyeartutorial.com for more cool Artist Year tricks. Thanks.